What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a big, big Liverpool transfer news and rumors update video. Loads of you guys have asked what are the latest news regarding Liverpool, who will Jurgen Klopp bring in in the summer transfer window. So if you enjoy these types of videos, please leave a like and let me know in the comments below who do you want Liverpool to sign and who do you think Liverpool will sign in the transfer window. And of course, the hottest topic is Mario Götze, will he move to Liverpool? or not. Can Liverpool sign him? Well, the facts are that Mario Götze has only one year left on his contract and he's not a starting player and unless Müller or Lewandowski gets a long-term injury and they are both not famous for getting long-term injuries or getting injuries at all, then I can't see Götze starting for Bayern Munich because they have a stacked midfield. But Mario Götze actually, I think two days ago, he fired his former agent who was agitating for Götze to move to either Dortmund or Liverpool. We don't really know the insides of the story. And uh, th the fact is that, uh, to be honest, nobody really knows what's going on behind the scenes. Of course, Götze is still at Bayern Munich, so he put out a Facebook uh, status like a uh, day ago saying that he will he is looking forward to the european championships and also he's looking forward to uh, the first training session with with carlo ancelotti and i guess he wants to see whether he features in carlo ancelotti's long-term plans and i think for liverpool it will be very hard to persuade a player of Goetz's caliber to join liverpool without european football without champions league football but if there is one manager who can do that, it's Jurgen Klopp. So maybe Götze wants to play the Euros and then he will see what kind of offers are on the table. Maybe that if he has a good European tournament, maybe the other big clubs will offer him a contract. We, sh we don't really know what Götze wants. At the moment, he's managed by his family and his father said that I don't know anything about an alleged, alleged imminent transfer to Li Liverpool. Mario is my son, we talk to each other, I would know about it. So basically at the moment it looks like the Götze transfer to Liverpool might not happen, it's not very likely, but you know, don't give up hope yet. If there is a manager who can sign him uh, without European football, it's Jurgen Klopp, they have a very good relationship. But um, I think if we don't sign Götze, it's, it's a, not a disaster because even though Götze would definitely improve our team, he is better than Lalana. he would score more goals than Lalana, and I think he would play in Lalana's position. We still have Coutinho, Firmino and Lalana, three good number 10s, and I think what should be priority is to sign another centre-back, to sign a left-back, and maybe sign a striker. And uh, it's uh, reported by the Telegraph newspaper in the sports faction that Jurgen Klopp wants to sign Ben Chilwell, who, who is one of the best young English uh, fullbacks in the game, he's very talented. At the moment he's only third choice left back at Leicester City, but I think uh, Liverpool and Klopp scouted him extensively and, and uh, Ben Chilwell um, could be, you know, a future number one left back for England, he's that good. And uh, he's only 19 years old and he has just... Uh, I think one year left on his contract. Uh, I think he, he would cost between five to seven million. As you can see, uh, Arsenal I think offered him a, a five million, offered Leicester a five million deal plus two million um, add-ons. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think Liverpool are now front runners, and uh, Loris Karius is having a medical at Liverpool. After that transfer is done, it could be announced today or tomorrow. Then we will move on to Chilwell and try to negotiate a contract with him. I don't really know a lot about him, but uh, the, play the people who do know a lot about him say that they are he's a very, very talented player and he would definitely improve Liverpool. Also, the Express newspaper is reporting that Liverpool are entering the race for Mahmoud Dahoud and it looks like Zielinski is only the second choice and Dahoud is the first choice. Uh, here is the report in the DC Anfield site that Jurgen Klopp wants to sign him. He's a very talented young midfielder. Jurgen Klopp knows him very well from the Bundesliga. He's playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach and I think he would be a brilliant, brilliant 
transfer. He's valued at around 20 million and he's, he's a player who could become world class in two or three years. So I think it would be a very sound investment and I think Co uh, Jurgen Klopp could coach him and improve him a lot as a player. And here is the confirmation, the Liverpool Echo is reporting that Loris Karius is almost ready to sign for Liverpool. Mainz accepted our 4.7 million transfer, which is an absolute bargain for the second best Bundesliga goalkeeper behind Neuer. And I'm not saying this, the Bundesliga football players, the stars of the Bundesliga are saying this. Loris Karius came second in a vote which was the best Bundesliga goalkeeper this season that just finished and 235 of the Bundesliga stars voted and Loris Karius came second behind Manuel Neuer so I think that says it all how, what a highly rated player he is and I'm really really looking forward to seeing him as a number one goalkeeper for Liverpool I think for 5 million pounds that's an absolute bargain and it shows that we need to look at the continent and sign players who are as good as players in the Premier League but who would cost like a fraction of, uh, of the price. For example, Jack Butland, you know, he's at the moment I think level with Karius in terms of talent and he would cost 20, 25 million pounds and on the other hand we can get the second best Bundesliga goalkeeper for just 5 million pounds, an absolute bargain and this is why I love it that Jurgen Klopp is our manager. Also. There, I'm seeing this uh, guy uh, who is a 19 year old Croatian midfielder Ante Koric his name kept popping up in the last few days so I thought I would I would make a you know I would include him in the video he's playing uh, for Dinamo Zagreb who won the championship in Croatia and and I think uh, he is uh, one of the most talented young Croatian midfielders he could be maybe the next Luka Modric with the right development so I think to, to get him uh, for a cheap price right now would be absolutely brilliant. And, and yeah, also Real Madrid and Chelsea uh, tried to sign him, but I don't think he should go to those clubs because he won't play you know, games and he needs games at this moment. So I think Liverpool could be a very good destination for him. Also, we have been linked with uh, Permalen, the former Arsenal centre-back. It's a weird one. I've, I don't see Jurgen Klopp signing him because he's 30 years old and there are some sources say that we will extend Kolotouri's contract, other sources say that uh, Kolotouri will be gone, Skirtel will definitely move most likely to Besiktas, but I think we are still short. The Sako suspension expires uh, this week and uh, when it expires we will know how long he will be banned for, UEFA could ban him from six months up until two, maybe four years. So I think we need a new centre-back, apart from Joao Matip, who is still coming in. And, uh, and uh, Fermalen could be one of the solutions. He's an experienced defender, but I'm not sure if he's good enough to take us to the next level. And if we don't sign Matip, and we, if we, I mean, if we don't sign Fermalen, and if we extend Kolo to his contract, I think we will be short. Because just going with, with, uh, Lovren, uh, Matip, Colo Toure and Joe Gomez, there's not enough quality in, in that uh, centre-back uh, you know, spot. But maybe Jurgen Klopp thinks that you know, we will only have the Premier League, the League Cup and the FA Cup ne to negotiate. So without European football, maybe we don't need five centre-backs. But I, I trust Jurgen Klopp and we shall wait and see what happens and here is just a transfer roundup uh, at the this is Anfield science, uh, site so that, as I said the Chilwell talks will, will uh, begin in the next few days and uh, the Telegraph's uh, Chris Bascombe is reporting that, that uh, the talks will advance and also they are re reporting that Colo Toure will not get a new contract but on other sites I, I saw that there is still a possibility also, Crotone, a newly promoted Serie A club, who just got promoted from the Serie B, they could offer Balotelli uh, a, a way out from AC Milan. At the moment, it looks like AC Milan don't want to sign Balotelli permanently, and I can understand that because Balotelli hasn't scored enough goals in AC Milan. And they, um, 
And Crotone, they, they are a, you know, a small club in Italy. They, they, I think this is their first time getting promoted to the first division in Italy. So maybe that will be a good destination. But Balotelli will definitely not come back to Liverpool. But I think we should sell Benteke and we should bring in a new striker. That's my opinion. Either Alexander Lacazette or Michi Bacuai. Or sell Benteke and bring in a very, very fast forward player like a winger who can score goals and get assists so let me know what you think about this uh, this transfer news in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video leave a like thanks for watching guys stay awesome see you later goodbye